In this section, we're going to explore what's involved to pay payroll taxes in QuickBooks. In the previous section, we ran the payroll for our one employee, Sean Green. However, every time payroll is run, there are source deductions like CPP, EI, and income tax that need to get remitted to the Canada Revenue Agency or QPIP that needs to go to Revenue Quebec if you pay an employee in Quebec. I'm now on my home screen. To access the screen to pay payroll liabilities, you can click on this icon over here, or you can go to the Payroll Center via the Employees menu on top and select the tab that says Payroll Liabilities. Once I'm in here, I can select the button that says Pay Payroll Liabilities. Next, I'm going to select the date range of payroll liabilities I need to pay. Since our last pay run was for March, I'm going to select the date range covering March 1st, 2019. to March 31st, 2019. Please note that in the last section, we only ran the pay run from March 1st to 15th. So if we remit our source deductions to CRA monthly, we will also need to run the payroll from March 16th to 31st. But for this instruction, We'll pretend that we also ran the payroll for March 16th to 31st. Now on this screen, it will show us all the deductions and employer expenses that we need to remit to our tax agencies covering March 2019 only. You'll see I have my amounts owing to the Receiver General, along with the amounts owing to WSIB Ontario. Now, if we're just remitting source deductions for March, we would not include any garnishments deducted, nor any WSIB fees in our remittance. So, to remove these, the fastest way to process this is to select the checkmark column on the left on any of the Receiver General deductions, and then make the amounts to pay zero for CRA garnishment. So it's telling me at the bottom that my total amount to pay is $665.13. To verify this number, notice that on top I can run a PD7A report, which contains all of the info needed to fill in for our remittance to CRA, either on paper or online. So it shows me my gross payroll, number of employees, and remittance breakdown totaling $665.13. I would recommend saving this report either to Excel or printing it to PDF before sending your remittance to CRA. That way you have a record of the numbers you pulled from QuickBooks. I'm going to hit Escape. Now on top, we need to select what account we will be paying these source deductions from, which will be the checking account for this demonstration. And our check date, which will be April 15th, 2019. I'm going to click Review on top. And now it will show me a preview of my check to Receiver General. Over here, I can put in a memo, such as March 2019 source deductions. And if I hit the main tab, I can uncheck print later, so I can insert my check number over here. Let's put our check number as 290. I'm going to hit save and close and select yes to these warnings. 
Now, if I wanted to go pay either my garnishment withheld to CRA or my premiums to WSIB, all I need to do is go back into pay liabilities. Choose my March 2019 date range again here. Hit OK. And I can select either one I want to pay. And click Review on top to generate that check just like I showed with source deductions. I'm not going to pay these now, so I'm going to hit the Cancel button. I'm also going to delete that payroll remittance check for March since it was not complete as we did not run the March 16th to 31st payroll yet. This is something that you will be doing in the Let Me Try session at the end of this module. So to see a list of my payroll liability checks, I'm going to hit the Transactions tab, select Liability Checks, select my date range as All, and here my liability check appears. So I'm going to double click on it, click Delete on top, and select Yes to these warnings. And I'm going to hit Escape. So that concludes how you pay payroll liabilities in QuickBooks. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see more QuickBooks Canada videos from Simon Says It, click over there. And click over there to upgrade to the full QuickBooks Canada course.